In this project, we will make an example of list objects, which are often used when developing desktop applications with the Qt library in the Python programming language. In our project, we will do all the operations of adding, editing, deleting, scrolling up, scrolling down, sorting. You can download and develop the source codes of the project in this video from the Turtle Code GitHub account. Before starting the project, you can support us by following the Turtle Code YouTube channel and other social media accounts. Create a Python project. You can delete the files contained in the Python code file. Let's start with the design of the list desktop application. We will use the Qt Designer program during the design process. Create an empty project. Add list widget to your project. Adjust its size. Add seven buttons to your project. We will use these buttons to add, edit, delete, scroll up, scroll down, sort and terminate the application. Select all the buttons and add vertical layout. Name the buttons. In the coding phase, we need to set an ID to access and assign tasks to the objects in our desktop project. To set the ID, go to the Property Editor section. Select the list object and create an ID. Create ID for all buttons. We will assign tasks such as adding, editing, deleting, scrolling up, scrolling down, sorting to buttons using the IDs determined during the coding process. You can see all the IDs you have added by going to the Object Inspector section. You can see how your desktop application will look when you press the control and our keys on the keyboard at the same time. When saving our design project make sure to save it in the same file as our Python project. For this, we need to find out where our Python project file is without saving our project. For this go to your Python project. Copy the address of your project file. Then go to Qt Designer and save your file. When saving your file, be sure to save it at the Python file address. Our design file has been added to our Python file. First, let's add the Qt library to our Python project to design and code the desktop application. Transfer the Qt widgets file to use the features of the Qt library. Currently, it gives an error because the Qt library is not found in the Python project file. Click on it and start the transfer process. The transfer process has started. It will be completed shortly. After the transfer finished, the error in the Qt files disappeared. In order to use the design file we saved in the Python code file, we need to convert it to a Python code file. Let's start the process of converting the design file. Go to Terminal. Here we will do a simple coding to convert the design file to Python code file. With this code, we can convert the design file to a Python code file. Press the Enter key on the keyboard. Our design file has been converted to a Python code file. Let's examine the code file. In the code file, there is a class that contains the properties of the objects we add to our project in the design section. We will import this class into our main code file and use all its features. We need to use some Qt features in our project. To use these features, transfer the necessary files to the main Python code file. Transfer the class from the converted Python code file to the main Python code file. You can check the name of the class. Transfer the sys module to start and terminate the program without error. Create a class to access objects and assign tasks. Send the Qt widgets and QMain window files to the class. Create a main function and create a super parameter to use the self parameter on all objects of the class. 
Sync the self parameter with the class in the Python design file. Have the self parameter ready for use. Create a function outside of the class. Send the argument from the sys module to start the desktop application without error. Create a desktop application using the class we created. Show the desktop window on the screen. Send the required argument from the sys module so that the desktop application closes without error when the close button is pressed. Call the function. Finally, we need to transfer a file to our project to use the Qt library. For this, go to the terminal again. With this code, we can fully use the Qt library in our Python project. Run the project and test it. We managed to run the design we created without any errors. First, let's add data to our list object. To do this, specify a function name with the self parameter. Create a function using the function name you specified. We will use the ID name of the list object with the self parameter. Go to the design project and check the ID name of the list object. We can send data to the list using the add items method. Submit for data to the list. Run the project and test it. The data has been added to the list object. We can specify the default selected item of the list object. For this, use the set current function and send a zero index number. Run the project and test it. At the beginning of the project, the zeroth index was shown as selected. Submit the first index number for better understanding. Run the project. At the start of the project, the first item of the list was shown as selected. Let's start assigning tasks to buttons. You can assign a task to the add data button by specifying a function name along with the clicked and connect methods. Do not forget to check the ID names when assigning tasks to the buttons. Incorrect ID names will prevent your project from working properly. You can check the ID names of the buttons in the design file by going to the Qt Designer program. Go to the code file. Create a function with the function name you specified. We will add the new data entry to the previous row of the selected item. Create a variable specifying the current index number. You can create the variable using the current row function. We need to create a dialog for data entry. We transferred the necessary file to our Python project file to create the dialog. We can create the dialog using the getText function. If the data entry is not null and has been approved by the user, we can enter data using the insert item function. Run the project. Press the add button and enter data. The new data has been added to the list object. Select the Washington data. The new data will be added to the row before the Washington item. Press the add button and enter data. The new data has been added to the list object. Specify a function name with clicked and connect method to task the edit button. Create a function with the function name you specified. Create a variable to specify the selected object. You can use the current row function for this. Create a variable and synchronize it with the selected object. If the selected object is not null, create a dialog. You can use the getText function to create a dialog. Set the dialog box with the getText function. You will understand better when we run the project to check the settings we made. If the new text entered by the user is not empty, add the new text using the setText method. Run the project and test it. Select an object. Press the edit button and rearrange the text. We rearranged the data using the edit button. Select the object to try again. Press the edit button and rearrange the text. We rearranged the data using the edit button. Specify a function name with clicked and connect method to assign the delete button task. Create a function with the function name you specified. Create a variable to specify the selected object. You can use the current row function for this. Create a variable and synchronize it with the selected object. 
if the selected object is null and the process before it starts. If the selected object is not null, create a question using the message box file to ask if the user is sure of the deletion. Specify the properties of the message box using the question function. If the deletion is user approved, create a variable and synchronize it with the selected object. Complete the data deletion process. Run the project and test it. Select an object and click the remove button. Try deleting again by selecting another object. We can delete the data using the remove button. Specify a function name with click and connect method to task the up button. Create a function with the function name you specified. Create a variable to specify the selected object. You can use the current row function for this. If the top object is selected by the user, we cannot move the object up. Create an if query to prevent this. If the top object is not selected, create a variable to specify the object selected by the user. You can use the take item function to determine the selected object. We can use the insert item function to move the selected object up one row. Send the index number as the first parameter to the insert item function. Send the selected object as the second parameter. You can edit the object name of the list using the set current item function. Synchronize the item variable with the set current item function. Run the project and test it. Select an object. Click the up button. The data has been moved to the previous row. Try moving other objects up. We have completed the task of the up button. Specify a function name with clicked and connect method to assign the down button task. Create a function with the function name you specified. We will make similar coding with the codes of the function that we assign a task to the up button. For this, we can copy and use the codes of the up button. If the lowest object is selected by the user, the down button gives an error. To avoid this, we can use the count function in the if query. Change the index number from minus 1 to plus 1 as we will be moving the object down. Finally, rearrange the operator in the if query. Run the project for better understanding. Select the object and press the down button. We have completed the down button. Specify a function name with click and connect method to assign the sort button. Create a function with the function name you specified. We can sort the objects according to their initials by using the sort items function with the ID name of the list object. Run the project. Press the sort button and sort the data by initials. Click the add button and add a data. Press the sort button again. We can sort the data alphabetically by this method. We have completed the sort button. Specify a function name with click and connect method to task the exit button. Create a function with the function name you specified. We have to ask the user a question to make sure he wants to close the application. We can use the question method for this. Adjust the settings of the message box using the question method. If the user has confirmed to close the application, use the quit function to close the application. Run the project and test it. We have completed the exit button. In this project, we made an example of list objects, which are often used when developing desktop applications with the Qt library in the Python programming language. If you have any questions let me know in the comments. You can also support us by subscribing to the Turtle Code YouTube channel and other social media accounts.